Zapravo da ja danas ima Albina probu, odlučila sam malo vidjeti što drugi Eurovizijski sajtovi misli. Visually, this was expensive, crisp, futuristic. This could be the best staging Croatia's had since they've returned to Eurovision. It looked amazing. Albina needs a big platform because she's a big star, and that was the platform she needed. It was beautiful. The hologram. What's better than one Albina? Five Albinas. <gasps> I'm really touched by this. I, I think she did so amazing, and your country should be so proud. I have more hope for her now to make the final and do well in the final. Oh, thank you. Uh, if you're an average Eurovision Euro, would you will for us? Oh, yes, I would. I would be picking up my phone and going, bam, Croatia. Yeah, what's your impressions about Albina's uh, rehearsal? Um, I think she did fairly well. I've always thought that Croatia had a very underrated entry, and it's actually nice to yeah, see her be on the stage and enjoy herself very much. Um, I think the staging looked really cool and slick. There are a couple of things that she needs to improve on. I think her vocals were like a little bit so and so, but I think mm. if she engages a little bit more with the audience, she can actually do pretty well in Eurovision. Like she has to go for it. There's no way that she has to um, hold back. She has to go for it. Okay, and uh, if you're a mm -hmm. average Eurovision viewer, would you vote for us? Hard to, for me to say because like there are so many good songs in that semi-final, so I don't think I can really give you an answer for that. My name is Clara from Eurovox and I really love the staging and the whole performance. It really elevated the, the song. I saw the national final and I think it's such a huge improvement. I love this uh, 80s uh, sort of spaceship kind of concept and her vocals are so on point. Uh, if you're a uh, Eurovision, average Eurovision viewer, would you vote for us? I would definitely vote for you, especially as the running order, uh, where Croatia is placed in the running order, is really visual. It's the song is very has a very powerful beat, like tick tick tick, and it stays in your head. So yes, I, I, when I saw it in the national final, I didn't think it would qualify, but after this rehearsal, I'm quite sure it's going to qualify. Ja nisam veliki fan ove pesme od Albine, ali moram da kažem da e, ovaj nastup je genijalan stvarno. Ovo e, svetlo i, i ples i, e, i, i ovo kako ona izgleda i ovaj mm -hmm. TikTok efekat, ovo, da, da, da je pet, pet yeah. Albina, kako se kaže. Aha, hologrami, da. Da, da, ovo, to, to mi je super, stvarno super i mislim da je to finale 100%. I, oh. i, i stvarno e, podržavam sad Albinu. Uh, malo se izvinjavam zato što nisam, nije, se ne isviđava ova pesma, ali, ali nastup je, je stvarno cool i sve najbolje. Uh, da slučajno dobiješ priliku glasiti za nas, bili glasovao? Um, ne znam. Ako imam 20 glasova, a verovatno imam, tako možda, možda će glasati, ali još vidjet ćemo što će biti dalje ovog dana. Ali mislim da je Hrvatska u top 10 po ovog polofinala. I like this better than the national selection and performance. And in general, this is a huge step in the right direction compared with the previous attempts by Croatia. I give it, I don't know, maybe a 60 to 70 percent of going direct to the final. Yeah, it's a really good song.